Hello, 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 and welcome. I have been working with babies and eggs and all kinds of stuff. So I want to show you something. I did download a mod, and I'm going to show you this mod I downloaded. As a sole player, a single player, it, it's difficult to do eggs, and I hate killing all the babies. So I, I downloaded this incubator. I love this thing. It is so awesome. I've used it before in other games, and I'll show you. These are ready to hatch. And I'll show you um, how to work it here. Let's see. What do I want to do? I'm separating all my eggs. I've got one in here. If you look down at the console, this is where you load the eggs. Okay? You look up and you see the actual egg that's in the incubator. Far left, this is a male. And then you'll see that it's uh, incubating. You see that green line. The green line is a boost. See that green line? Below that green line is the temperature. And notice that there's a gray, um, there's a gray, let me get, let me get some more eggs so I can show it better. Hang on. We'll do Marala tops. There we go. We'll grab a bunch of them. Now, when you look down at this and hold down your the key, whatever yours is, I'm on Xbox, so it's a Y, it opens up this screen. And down on the left, you see where it says Enable uh, Auto Temperature? Click that, and it's going to enable it, and it's going to de-able uh, uh, de it. So put your eggs in. You look up, and notice the bottom temperature on the far left, current temperature. See that silver uh, button there it's all the way to the left it should be in the middle in the green area that's how you tell because if you notice if you look above it you see where it's grayed out where it says incubation boost um, that right there should be 20% because the machine will give you a 20% boost if you have the right temperature so if you look down change it to enable then it goes disabled then change it to enable look up notice it didn't move that gray is still to the far left just do it again because sometimes the machines just take a few times to catch and you look back up now look at it see the green on the incubation boost is 20 percent and the uh, silver bars in the middle there okay and then I'll, and then you'll notice this is a male because in the picture it shows the male symbol on the right are the different types of, um, of stats on this particular egg. And above that are the colors. All the different colors that are available that this thing is going to be when it comes out. And my biggest thing I look for, I look for that cross because that's the health. And on the right hand side, I look for the fist. And if you'll notice, each one of them has different stats, of course. So you're going to pick out the ones you want. And I usually go for the best male and the best female. That's what I look at. And I just go through the numbers. And the higher the number, the better their stat is going to be when they're hatched. So I'm trying to get high numbers. So I get them to make a bunch of eggs. And then I go through. And if I get two that are identical, then I go to the color bar up above it and see which one I want. You know, sometimes they're the same colors. Sometimes they're different colors. You never know what you're going to get until, um, you know, until you look at it. But I love it. This tells me male, female, tells me everything I need to know about this particular uh, animal. And I can't, I, I can't speak higher than, than I already have about the incubator. I think it's a magnificent um, tool, and I'm not sure why it's not in vanilla. It doesn't make any logical sense to me, because this thing is amazing. It gives you everything. And then um, you just leave them in there until they are totally incubated. At the top there, you'll see the blue, and it will tell you um, what is good and what is bad. So I, pick, I just pick out the ones I want to keep, and the ones I don't, I put them in kibble. That way I know not to worry about those because I've already looked at them. So only the ones I want to keep are in the outside. And then the ones that I want to hatch are under the one that says Rex. Which I'm going to change. I'm going to change that to uh, hatch. Because that's what it should be instead of Rex. I don't know why I put it as Rex. But um, that's what... Oops. I think I put that in the wrong one. I wanted to keep that particular egg. Oh, yeah. There it is. Let's get that out of there and put that over in the Rex folder. 
because I want to, I do want to uh, hatch this one. Notice the green arrows on those two Rex eggs. That means they're fully done. I can, I can throw them on the ground and they will hatch right now. But uh, I don't want to. I want to wait until I can do kibble. Because they may ask for uh, some kibble. And I'll talk to you about kibble here in a minute. But uh, those are the ones that I want to keep out of the batch. And then I just keep having my animals lay eggs. And as they lay eggs, I bring them over and compare them to the ones I have. If they're good, I keep them. If not, they don't. Now, I downloaded this thing. It was also a mod. But I can't figure it out. Because it says that it, it's a cryopod for, for creatures. But I have no idea. Because I can't get it to work. I can't put a cryopod in it. Um, I can't put uh, anything in it. I don't know what it's for. See, I don't know what this thing is for. It's crazy, huh? <laughs> Either I'll figure it out or I'll pick it up one of the two because I, I can't figure it out right now. But anyway, that's the incubator. And that thing is amazing. Let me tell you. I love the incubator. I'm also making some beef jerky uh, or some uh, jerky, some meat jer jerky and some prime jerky. Because you need that for kibble put all this in here. I've got some oil and some hide in here to make my jerky with. So we'll let that sit. I need to put some more meat in here. And of course, remember I have that st uh, that stacking mod, so... Uh oh we got a storm brewing. Throw all this in here. Whoa! <laughs> I love it! Whoa! Isn't that cool? Oh, we got some eggs. Argent eggs. Cool. And whenever you change eggs, like from Aralatops to Argents, um, let me take these out. I'm going to put those away. And I'll get that other Argent egg out again. Put those over here. Because I haven't looked at them yet, so I'll grab this Argent egg. Yeah. All right, so remember, when you you have to look down at the console to get the eggs in. And then when you look down, um, you notice that we don't have the boost. Always look for that boost, okay? Always look for the boost. And then we're going to go to Enable, Auto. We're going to do it again. It didn't take because it's not green. The boost is not green. So we're going to do it again. I'm trying to get this thing to wake up. Wake up. Okay, let's look. There it is. Now it's on there. See, I got that green boost, so I'm good. And it's incubating. And now I just look at the stats and see which one I want to keep across there. Look at the colors. Look at the stats. Look at their sex. And then I look at the plus and the hand because that is uh, the, the health and the melee. Because I want the best health and the best melee I can get on an animal. Especially on my Rexes. I want the best and I have two Rexes I want to throw out but before I throw those Rexes out I want to make sure I got kibble so we'll talk about kibble here in a minute yep we'll pick the best numbers the high numbers I'd love them to be closer to 40 but you know you can want a lot <laughs> if your animals are not capable of doing that then they're not capable of doing that but I'm hoping I can breed it into them so if I can start out with the highest level health and the highest level melee then maybe the next set that makes eggs will make higher eggs so anyway that's what I've been doing here for a while I like those I'm looking at the colors okay I'll come back and look at this again because I think my eyes are crossed. Is that right? 30, 30. That's a male and a female. Male. Yeah, the male and the female. Want to make sure you got a male and a female for sure. Put this egg away. I'll just leave those two in there. I'll come back and check that out again. But anyway, let's go over here. Oh, let's go up to the garden. We're going to have to go up to the garden and get all the vegetables out of there. You need vegetables for kibble. Look at this. <laughs> this map is amazing. 
Our beehive's doing well, I think. It's full of flowers. I'm not messing with it because I don't want to get stung right now, and I'm not using honey right this second. I'll come up here and get that honey when we're ready to, um, to make some sweet cakes. And if I can get the right egg to make extra uh, extraordinary kibble. I have to make some Lazarus chili and all kinds of stuff. But I'll show you how to how to how to um breed the the cook pot here in a sec. I'm trying to think ahead. Sorry. My brain is going forward. You know, it happens. Yeah, I don't want to mess with that guy, but I noticed that it's got flowers because see it says two of forty nine. And with the stack mod on here, all the honey is stacking, but the and so are the flowers. So I know there's flowers in there. All right, so here's the cook pot. If you come up here and you go up to consumables and then go to uh, the food and then kibble. Now right here is all the kibble. Now the thing about kibble, if you have an animal that says that I want basic kibble, and you don't have any basic kibble, but you have regular kibble. You can give them regular kibble. As long as you go up, you can't go down. Like if they want regular kibble and you have basic, you can't do that because that's going down. Or simple, you can't do that because uh, you can only go up. So if you make extraordinary kibble, anything that wants anything can have extraordinary kibble because you can always go up. So remember that when you're, when you're doing your kibble is uh, make the highest level kibble you can possibly make because it goes for all the ones below it. It'll work for all the ones below it and you'll get the same results. I'm gonna grab these eggs and throw them in the fridge, but we're not gonna look at them right now. I think you guys kind of got the idea about the incubator. I love that thing. So I suggest if you're playing solo, just go download the incubator. It's a life choice, I think. I mean, it doesn't change the game. It just keeps me from having a gazillion animals in the yard and having to kill them all. And I, I just really don't want to do that. So we're going to go get a UD. Let's go find one. I think we can find one. I don't know. I've been looking for days. I haven't found one yet. <laughs> all right. I still haven't found one. I'm still looking. I'm not going to give up. But I'm going to try one of these little creatures. I've been killing parents. There's a lot of little babies running around out there. And uh, I don't know what kind of egg this thing gives because I've never, ever dealt with these before. So we want to um, get one of these creatures. Stay there. Don't follow me. Stay there. All right. Let's go get this little baby thing. We'll get rid of that. There we go. Look at you. And I cannot say the name. So we're going to call her Sarah. Look at her. She's bouncing. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Oh! Yeah, see, I've never dealt with these, so I know nothing about these creatures. It uh, looks like a giant gecko with, with, on steroids or something. I don't know. Come here, little baby. <laughs> Come here, bouncy. <laughs> She's just bouncing along. I figured I'd get a, uh, get a couple of these and just check their eggs and see what eggs their eggs are used for what kibble so let's get her up on the hill come on girl get up here on this hill come here little bouncy come here come on yeah, I don't plan to use these for anything because I don't know anything about them kind of cute I mean cute got a little cute color look at the color of her kind of purple She's got pretty good stats she does. Wow. Look at her melee. That's amazing. All right. And her color, female. I like her. I like her. So we're going to, I'm hoping, since you guys are so invasive, you're an invasive species, I'm hoping that you have the same egg as a beauty. I'm hoping. That's all we can hope for. So, um... Let's go. I'm thinking maybe we'll get another female and a male. Because you got to have a male or they won't lay eggs. Fertilized eggs, that is. And I don't care if it's fertilized or unfertilized. But I think that's what we'll do. We're going to rename her. We're going to call her Bouncy. Because she was bouncing along. You're adorable. Little purple thing. <laughs> 
a gecko. That's what you are. You're a little weird looking creature. Weird. Okay. I know they have a bleed, and I know when the bleed pops, if it's close to any of your animals, it'll heal them. I know that much. I've been reading about them. All right, let's go get some more. Man, these things are everywhere. I mean, I have been all over this mountain numerous, numerous, numerous times. And I can't find a UD. I have looked for them everywhere. There are just no UDs up here. I don't know why. I think Ark broke them. I have an invasive species that's killed off all of my UDs. Now all I got is those crazy things. Flipping and flapping around. Those and thorny dragons. Seems to be a lot of thorny dragons up here, too. And they're always fighting. The Sarahs and the uh, thornies are always fighting. Every time I see them. They fight with everything, though. Oh, there's one. Where are you? There you are. What are you fighting? Oh, he's fighting an Anki. been from the oh wait a minute it's pretty loud <laughs> Woo! sorry about that they're pretty loud see that pop right there if i had another creature close it would heal that creature i don't know how much argents have self-healing so um doesn't mean much on argy but maybe if i was on my thylo it might mean something i don't know but i have been from this mountain all the way over to the red obelisk and i have seen not one not one i've even been over to the blue obelisk not one beauty at all but i have seen thornies and those sarahs all over the place they're everywhere Clean this guy. come here evasive species arc broke my beauties i've been killing a lot I think I have like 80 one of those two things that you get when you kill the Sarahs. <laughs> I've got lots of them. And I guess you, you use those to make the sauce uh, to tame them with. You get them drunk and, and you tame them that way. And you have to use kibble too. So not only do you have to get them drunk with that uh, stuff you can make. Look at that mess. But then you have to use kibble to tame them. I just kill the parents and take the babies. I mean, Art gave me that. I'm using it. <laughs> I love the baby thing. That baby thing is awesome. Don't have to go through the hassle. Now, one thing you don't get is you don't get the boost when you when you uh, when you get an animal and you tame it. You know, you can get up to 70 levels or 30 levels or whatever, and it could be well over 200. You don't get that with a baby. I got that. But 150 baby, I could, I could deal with that. I'm okay with that. I am looking for a male Anki because I've got that 150 female, and I'd like to get them started with kibble so I can get their eggs too. I can use them to make kibble. I hear a thorny. That, I hate thorny sounds. I hate the sound of a thorny. It's so annoying. Ooh, that's a pretty angry. What are you? Ooh, that's a 130 male. There we go. All right, he'll do. There we go. We got our male. I love his little white belly, too. <laughs> Let's take him home and knock him out. Yeehaw. I did make a little pen over here on the beach. I put him over here so that he doesn't upset my guys if he accidents, accidentally hits me. Because he wouldn't, in perp he wouldn't purposely hit me, right? <laughs> but I put a pen over here so if he does hit me, my guys don't get excited and eat him. Yeah. So I'm going to put him over here and knock him out. All right, girl. Um, Vertigo, you might be a little bit too close. I think if he swings that tail, he'll probably hit you. And I don't want you to kill him, okay? So get over here out of the way, and we're going to knock this guy out. There we go. 
We shouldn't take too long. Look how bad my long long rifle is. 17. I switched to my arrows. I do have a, uh, a blue uh, a blue crossbow, and that does make a difference. I get 31 out of that. And I have been over all over this map on the loots. So I can't get a rifle. That gummit, even a blueprint will work. I'll take a blueprint in a heartbeat. I'll keep looking though. It'll happen. It's just gonna take time. Come on, bud. Come on, just go sleep. There you go. Oh yeah. Just go sleep. All right. Let's put some veggies on him. Get all my arrows. We'll put some veggies in him. That should be good. Uh, these things are so slow. I gotta keep my eye on him because. He'll run out of, uh, he'll wake up if I don't. So when his torque gets low, then I'll come back and put some more narcotics on him. Yeah, you're low level. You can't go in my yard. I love my fence. It keeps all those extra animals out. Except for the ones that fall off the mountain. <laughs> those actually end up in my yard, but let's go get her more. We can get something else. Hopefully we can find a UD. Look at it. Invasive species. I see a baby down there. 45. That's not very high. What level are you, baby? Or what sex are you, baby? I already have a male. I just need one more female. Are you a female? You are. Okay, you'll do. I gotta kill the parent, though. That sounds so bad, doesn't it? <laughs> the arc. That's just sadistic. But I have to kill the parrot in order to get the baby. So sorry, bub. You gotta go. Oop, don't hit the baby. Hyenas, get out of here. Where'd she go? Where'd you go, little girl? Oop, there she is. Come here, come here. I can't see her. I ain't, oh, there she is. God dog it, hyena dons. There she is. Come on now. All right. Okay. Let's do this then. Oh, now you're gonna run away? Huh? Come on. There you go. Let's get this done so I can go find my baby. Is that her? Is that a hyena dog? Are y'all grouping? Come on! Alright, y'all done? Hyena dons give prime meat. Remember that when you're out taming and stuff? If you can kill hyena dons, they're pretty easy to kill. And they give some good prime meat. Alright, let's get up here and see if we can find this baby. I'd like to get her. One more female. That'll give me two females and a male. And if the eggs are no good, I'm sure that they'll probably be okay when I bring them back out here. And, you know, just turn them loose and stuff. Because that's what I would do. <laughs> Where'd you go, little girl? Do you think she went down there in that mess? Huh. Really, bird? You want to do this? Okay. Come on, then. A level 10? <laughs> You're way out of your league. I know, Vertigo. What was she thinking? Oh, a horse. A horse. I'm looking for a horse also. What level are you? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. A 95. Eh. I mean, you're pretty. I love the horses. I want one. But I think I'm going to let you go. Get a higher level one. Alright. Let's go up on the hill. I love the horses. In real life, I used to have 21 horses when I was younger. And stupid. <laughs> now, my old horse, my last old horse just died. And, uh that's enough I will get no more horses I'm looking for that baby what I'm doing right now but no more horses Ugh. 
I see a baby over there. I don't see one. All right, let's go over here. Oh, I see one. I wonder if that's that's theirs. I don't know. He's a 45, so levels that baby. Ooh, I think that's it. I think that's the one. Come here, baby. Dang it, I missed. All right, all right. Okay. Don't kill the baby. Get over here. Don't kill the baby. Run, baby. I gotta keep my eye on that baby. Level 20. Level 10. Alright. Come here, baby. Where are you? There you are. Okay, let's take her home. That'll give us two females and a male. And I'm hoping they have the same egg as the Yudi. Because if they don't, then I guess we get no extraordinary kibble on this map. Because without something that gives extraordinary kibble, and the only thing off the list of animals that give extraordinary kibble, where'd you go, is the uh, Uteranus on this map. So, if there were Deinoticus, I could get a Deinoticus. Where'd you go? There you are. Come here. All right. I know. All right. Come on over here with the rest of them. Come on, little girl. Come on. Oh, she's got a little bit of yellow on her, too. Let me stop. Oh, sometimes it doesn't work when you whistle. See, it? it's not whistling. There you go. You stay there. Uh, maybe it's more green than yellow. But this, the male has got yellow on him. This is our first female that we got. She's getting close. She's getting close. And this is our male. They're not bad, actually. Their stats aren't that bad. I have no idea what to do with them, but I'm sure hoping their eggs work for kibble, because if they do, we're going to get more babies. <laughs> that is all there is to it. I got a bunch of junk. The Anki's still taming. Go put her, put this stuff away. All right. I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I hope you learned something. If you need any help with anything uh, on the incubator or whatever, just send me a, a text, and uh, uh, send me a message, and I'll definitely respond back to you, help you any way I can. I love the incubator. I mean, I can't imagine uh, ha not having the incubator, and as long as ARC op uh, offers all those mods, then I'll have an incubator. That's just all there is to it. <laughs> oh, look. A thorny saddle. Let's go put this on our thorny. Hey, bud. Look what we have for you, Woody. We have a new saddle. Yay. There you go. Let's give him some more health. Boost his health up. I like to get all their healths up for the uh, farm animals. At least 5,000. Yeah. You're such a good boy. I got you a boyfriend over there. Yeah, so you can lay me some eggs. She's got six levels. I think we'll put it all in, um, probably in health, too. Yeah, we'll get her health up. All right, y'all. That's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we're going to get try to get some kibble going. So if y'all like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.